So we'll come back to all of you Nana here and then we end the next day's program of this fusion inventory implementation. Now, many of the instances are down actually. And so what you can do is you can go to EBTR. We'll now see again how many instances are working on some. I have done, I given a lot of instances actually. Some, some eight instances I have given now. We'll have a look at it now. <clears throat> So if you go to the drive, you will now find one fusion inventory instances actually. Uh, you'll now find one instances. So if you go there, uh, is it a left? I think it's not working. I find we'll now have look at it. Which one is working? Uh, everything has been taken down for maintenance actually. It's not working. Go there. And then EBDR is working. Actually. And that is okay. And then uh, ZKVD is not working. And then ZKZD is also not working. I will not test this. Is it a little hachi? Little hachi is also not working. <clears throat> not such this now. Little hachi. That's also not working. Everything has been taken down for it. Yesterday, all everything was working. Today, they have taken off everything now. Down. Even JetKVD today is working my time 5 o'clock evening. Uh -huh. They have now taken <laughs> Nothing is working. So we will now go to the EBTR. Now. EBTR is working. Uh, EBTR is working for the past 4 years now. Without 20. But the only thing is it's now fed up with so much of our data actually. <clears throat> so you go there. Check on it. <clears throat> so that's working. The G3 somebody, uh, well, it was my own and then somebody has changed the password. Please don't change the passwords. So he, I will not even be able to log in. Okay? Nobody can log in. What is the advantage you're gaining by changing others password? I don't understand. Okay? Please, please have a discipline and then don't change the passwords. People go on and change the setups also. Oh God, it's really very horrible. When you do like this, <clears throat> we have to learn now. Okay? That is the idea. When you spoil, start to spoil things, it becomes very difficult actually. <clears throat> you know, come. So here, what you can do is you can go there, go to the, uh, again, somebody has changed the look and flow now, find so many icons are on. Uh, people experiment on the springboard, please don't do so much of the things because we had to experiment only on the functional activities, not on this now. So many colors are getting changed, oh, Bobby. That is not your real uh, cup of tea. You know, teaching the end customers and then they, then the, they themselves will be changing their look and feel actually. Click on it now. Find click on it. I'm not going to create an item now. <clears throat> so I got so many setups on this now. Fine. Let me say P50 now. P50 also I made it now. You go there, put it now, and then go to the root item class. <clears throat> root item class. And you see, the, the, somebody has removed the uh, functional. Uh, this thing now. Fine. The data security and function security for the master org is removed now. Oh God. Uh, tell me uh, somebody's org now. Master org. Will not try to put it now. Create your location, create your org, and then start to work on it. He says that 000 is working now. I will not see. Ah, yeah, they have made on 000 working now. I will not put the root item class. It is not there actually. <clears throat> I will not try to put on J50 now. <clears throat> J50. J50 also, I took a training now. I will not go to the master now. I will go to the root item class. That is also not there. So many people have removed everything. I don't know why they are removing it actually. Fine, function securities are all getting removed actually. Ah, I'll not go for A now. Fine, I'll click on it. Oh, so many master are there. I'll put this master. Nana, sir, you are trying from your generic user, I think. You are not trying. No, no, not necessarily. Fine. It, it, this is not user specific actually. The root uh, item class setup is not user specific. So it is only the manage item class which is now doing it now. Mm. So if you go there, go to the manage item class. So, uh, you go to the setup and maintenance and then create your location, create your inventory org and then go to the manage item class and then provide the function security and data security, it will not start to work. It will not take hardly half an hour for you to set it up now. You go to the manage. So in this manage item class, you go there and then do it now. <clears throat> and then here, you go to the root item class and then click on edit and then here add your Function security and data security. Somebody might have deleted all, I think, probably. You go to the security. So to discourage others from uh, doing any practice, they only want to practice. They might have deleted everything, I think, probably. You do it not. Because public is not on here. So here, what happened here? Do it now. <clears throat> so B01 EMP1 is there. I will not go there and see. It's not fine. Okay. Here it is having everything. So I will not try the B01. The function security is there. The data security is also there. B01, let me try now. Cancel now. <clears throat> 
B zero one. Maybe they are not. Your client so, instance also down, no? Huh? Your client instance also down? Client instance is working. Okay. All my client instances are working. I cannot unfortunately give them now because what happens? The people will now go and then bombard with all the users and then that's all gone. And that they will now immediately clone with the production. If they clone with the production, nothing can be done now. Fine. So that is the problem now. <clears throat> Oh God! <laughs> Sir Admin is there. He is not even understanding it. Now, when I have given a Arduino instance to him, now it is there. So the people don't even look at it. Now, you give us change, it will be there actually. <laughs> now you go there, go to the product information, and then go to the product information management. So click on create it. So uh, what is that B? What is the number I have given now? Uh, you see now. Uh, B01. B01, uh, B01 master, or, you know, see root item class. So, O is not coming. I think somebody might have customized it. Fine. Nothing will come like that. Fine. Even if you're given it, or it is not coming. So, so many problems. Anybody who has uh, created the master and child or can you tell me? I will not try to put it and then see whether it's coming or not. Nana JD13. JD13. So, JD13. O is not there. <laughs> People are fiddling around now. Just check JD percentage. JD, I will not search for it. JD, you have it. Okay, fine. It is not coming. So he is now having a 200 number and then, okay, JD 13 master. And then root item class. So probably it may be limited to user or something like that. Some technical guys are also working on it actually. So it's not coming actually. Maybe with your user it may come, I think. Probably they might have linked to the user also, maybe. <clears throat> not sure about it. Try, try different means and then uh, what happens? Practice everything and that is the mantra of it. No? If you delay the practices and then if some things don't work and then don't trip that what happens? I'm not having instance this thing. I think. Fine. Try to practice whenever you time permits. No? Now, uh, you might have created or many people are even not even started a location. Now only they are starting their thing. Oh God, it is very difficult now in that case. I can't, what happens? Actually, because my students are also uh, uh, getting fed up now. Fine, they are... Uh, Oh, I, I, and I stop asking them. If, if at all they give, I don't ask them again because of so many requests. No, I'm again and again requesting them. And then it's only a free service. And so you cannot expect them to what happens, always support me. <clears throat> I'll try. In the weekend, if I get something, I will not try to post it over there. <clears throat> now I'm not logging in and then we go inside. Oh, you go back. If such a thing comes, what happens? You go there and then again do it. Now. If it's a stagnant screen, it is now giving a problem now. Now we'll now go to the agenda now. And go to the fusion inventory documentation, fusion inventory worksheet now. And people are expecting me to talk to them regarding whether today is a working day or not. And I cannot uh, give a ring if I, I have already given a mail. I put it in the WhatsApp message also yesterday. Unfortunately, I've forgotten to put a message that today is a working day. <laughs> people are so lazy. And then, uh, uh, what am I saying? This is the thing. No, no, you're not called and told me. What is this? Fine. You cannot expect me to call everybody and then tell that today is a working day. Now we go for interop transfers in transit. Once when the cost of transfers or time taken for the transfers are appreciable, fine. When, when, when any of them or both of them are appreciable, we have to go for interop transfers in transit. So we'll now go on and how everybody know and right now. So we'll now go to this place and then we'll now go to the e-business documentation. And then we'll now go to the inventory. And I'll go to the day three now. IoT in transit. So on the e-business documentation on inventory on inventory day three, we have a document called IoT in transit. Now. It is exactly same like what we have in e-business. Why I'm not even on my e-business. Switch on my e-business. <clears throat> No, no, for my user, uh, the root item is coming. So maybe user specific. Maybe user specific. They might have made it as user specific, I think, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they might have made it as user specific. So create one structure because it is going to last long for you. And so uh, you start to practice everything. Right? Now, from a different user, it is not coming actually. So we are now logged in into EBS also. So the one. <coughs> so uh, now. We go there and then we will now have a look at the interop transfers in transit. IoT in transit, which is there on EBS documentation, inventory, and then inventory day three. 
So if you go on and see the stuff, right? so if an org is very sensitive for the end client, they call them as a strategic business units. So you put the SBU strategic business unit, they would like to see how much of money they are spending on it. Say for example, in Madras, they have a manufacturing org, and then they have a spray painting unit in Bangalore. Now they will now see about how much of money is being incurred for transport to this place, and then uh, whatever they're doing, all the activity, and then bringing it back. Though. Fine. So amount of money on the transits, as well as the other uh, or loading and unloading cost. On seeing it, if the amount is appreciable, fine, if it is a very significant one, they may even close down the org and then build the plant in or 011 for the spraying also. So why to go there and then do it now, fine. Dismantle the org and then bring it over here. So for the management to take a decision, they would like to know what is the transfer cost. It's fine. When you're transferring it from here, what are the transfer costs? What are the loading and unloading costs? Because loading and unloading will also be significant actually in some cases. So they will now monitor all these things and then finally decide whether to have this or or fine. They will now make, make a decision. This is for the end customers actually. So in which case, you will know how to go for an in-transit route. In in-transit, we can very well monitor the cost as well as the time also. Both the things can be monitored. So in such cases, what happens, you have to make it as in-transit. So let us now go on and make the shipping network as what? From the source to destination as what in transit. Go there, click on it now. Go to this place, first of all. What is urban maintenance? <clears throat> click, on it, click on search now. Yeah, I will now say manage uh, inter org parameter. Manage inter org parameters. Go to the manage inter organization parameters now. So we'll now query for this now from some organizations what is a M2201 now find what happened. So we've got a strength call search now. From here to here, we have already in it all. And remember, this is the unidirectional, and then for each and every direction, we have to have a interop parameters now. When I want to move from 202 to 201, we have to again set up with a plus find 202 to 201. So it is just unidirectional, and then for every direction you have to have a setup now. Otherwise, it will not work at all. Fine, each and every, every, every direction you have to have a interrupt parameter. So I go there, click on edit now. I'm not going to make a change to in transit. Go there, click on it. I don't know from direct, whatever I'm making it as in transit now. So transfer type is in transit, and then here, whatever I'm not putting the result routing also. Result routing. Uh, normally, what happens, it will be standard actually. It will not be direct actually. Fine, it will be normally standard. <coughs> this is usual. This is only for projects now. Fine, go there. So I'm now making a change on this now. I'm not enabling the transfer order. That will be next topic now. Fine. Transfer order, I'm not enabling it. So from 202 to 202, I'm now making it as what this one. Fine. Click on OK now. Fine. Now it is an in transit route. Now. Fine. Click on save and close. So it is not done. So it is not done. <coughs> so we are done it. <coughs> done. <coughs> okay, fine. So this is not done. Now let us now go there and then uh, we will now go and then make a transfer. So fine. Go there. Click on it. And go there. Click on it. And then you go to supply chain execution. And then I go to the inventory management and I go to perform this intro transfers in an in-transit route now. You know, performing the in-transit route. I'm speaking a lot. Please take notes now. Fine. People are asking me, sir, after this, what is this? So their serial control is not working. The lot is not working. They don't take notes. And then uh, what happens if I each and every small, small mistake, I cannot come and then uh, guide you. Fine. Yesterday, I got some around 20 calls. Oh, God. Mainly because what happens? They have not taken notes. They feel that I am ready-madely available. Okay, give a call. That is not the way. When you go to the field, you must be proficient enough. I practice everything and then it has been in your fingertip now. And then uh, if you take notes, you will not make a mistake at all. When you go to the field, you should not refer any records. You should not refer any notes. And then you must be in a position to guide others. Fine. That is the proficiency level is expected of a consultant actually. And then for each and everything, what happens if you're making a mistake, you you identify, okay, I made a mistake here. Fine. This time, next time onwards, I should not make a mistake at all. That, should, that sort of a internal discipline has to come in now. I don't say that you should not ask me. Okay, I'm always there and then you can ask me. But you don't think that uh, that is for granted now. Fine. <clears throat> that, that, that support is granted. So only when you are really, really desperate and then it's not working, one guy was saying it's not working for six hours for me, sir. Okay, that doesn't matter. You ask me immediately. But have a habit of taking notes. Fine. The method of practicing is not at all correct. They run the record for, uh, for 30 minutes, 30 seconds now, and then they stop it and then they, uh, they immediately replicate in the system now. If you do like this, what happens? You are laboring before the machine and then you will succeed on the first term. Next time when you go, a small mistake somewhere, what happens? You will not be able to identify where the mistake is. You have to diagnose and then identify the mistake. And that, is a, that is a real skill actually of a consultant. Fine. Develop the skill. That is very, very important. Go there. I will not go to this place. I will not make. But whenever I say something, what happens? You immediately take note of it. Click on trade and drop. I am going to make it now. I am going to choose the first term. 
the M two not one or one and the second one is not okay. You know that <clears throat> and the M two not one is there. So I will now go to the destination or fine. Two not one to two not two is in transit now. Fine, drop it down. <clears throat> the destination or will not come at all. It is the same case in EBS also. If you find out, it won't come. Tell me why it's not coming. Anybody? In EBS also, it will not come. In direct, when it is direct, was uh, it was coming. When it is in transit, it is not coming. In a direct, it is not coming. So in EBS also, the no, same sir, case. No. What no, is no, missing? We need to set the uh, receiving uh, parameters. Right? Exactly, he is very correct. Super. So another way is he said that the receiving parameter, the destination or you will not be able to see it now. Fine. Receiving parameters must be set for the destination or. Good. So we are doing the shipping. Ship confirm, right? Shipping. Exactly. Shipping network. Yeah. Shipping network. Fine. Over there. Receiving parameters are must. Actually. Fine. Over there. So we have to set up the receiving parameter, the destination or. Fine. Come on. Set up. Fine. There is a must. So if you don't do it, what happens? It will not appear on the transaction and the and the transaction area at all. Fine. Over there. Come on. Come on. Over there. Come on. Over there. Put the search now. Let's <clears throat> manage receiving parameters. The destination or has to be there. Come on. So this is the same case in EBS also. I will not change the ORC to do not do now. Click on OK. Just now. Now set the M do not do the one. And then click on OK. And now it's there. I'm going, to, I'm going to set up. I will only set up the mandatory fields. We'll be having a discussion later on on this one. So here it is a mandatory field. I will not go there. I will not make it as none now. Here is the mandatory field. I will not make it as none now. Fine. The zip routing. I will not make it as a standard now. <clears throat> and then uh, the zip number generation is automatic. <clears throat> Sir, I'm going to talk to you in my class. I'm going to talk to you in my class. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Type is numeric now. And the next number I'm putting it as 1000 now. And then for the RMA also is mandatory. No second is standard. And then here, no go there. Fine, nothing else is mandatory. And so what happens, you'll not do it. So the mandatory fields are now, I'll not give a save. Upon saving, observe whether the loss is now saved or not. Now you have done the save. Now it will appear. So even though we have established the shipping network from 102 to 202, what happens? The ship, the receiving orgs, receiving parameters, the destination orgs, the receiving parameter must also be set. Then only we can perform an interop transfer. Now we go there, click on it now. If you make a search, it will become. Now, now itself is coming automatically. Upon receiving parameters, now coming back, go there, click on it. Now. Go there. It is in transit shipment, and then I here shipment number is mandatory. So in this place, whenever you are shipping from the source of the destination org. On an in-transit route, what happens? The shipment number has to be mentioned over there. That is not required as far as direct transfer is concerned. For in-transit route, we need the shipment numbers. Click on it. I will not say 100. 101. I will not make it. And then uh, we can even uh, enable, if the serial control is enabled, we can even put the serial number here. I will go there. I will not give the source, variable number. Nothing is mandatory here. We can even put all those things. It will be giving good value addition. So that when you take a report, we can understand all these things about why you perform this interrupt transfer. <clears throat> so go there. So I now put it now. Fine. You have to come out of this field. Then only whatever the plus will come out. If you don't come out of it, the plus will not come out. Fine. Come out of it, the plus is coming. Fine. Click on it now. Here there is no costing at all. Fine. Costing is not enabled here. Fine. Uh, you just see. Fine. There is no costing at all. Click on plus. Now. Go there. And then slightly expand this field so that what happens? You'll be getting the magnifier. The magnifier is coming. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I will now put M20. <clears throat> I will now put one item over here. Give a tab now. <clears throat> so item has to be assigned to both the orgs, then only it will come now. Fine. Whatever the item is assigned, this is the only item which has been assigned to both the orgs, and that's why it's not coming. Click on submit notary. I will not populate a survey notary. Sub one, I'm putting it now. Fine. So it's already having a minus 10 actually. I will now go to the destination or and then I will not choose the FGS now. And then if you go for let us say 100 quantities once. So it's minus 10, I'm now setting it. So it's only giving a warning because negative transactions are allowed. In the organization parameters, we allow negative transactions, otherwise it will not error out. So since we have enabled the negative transactions and negative on and balances, so it's only giving a warning and then it is allowing you. So now the source organization will have minus 110 and then the 100 will be reflecting on the, on the plus. So go there, click on it now. And then here, I'm going to submit it. So before submitting it, what happens, you'll now see the stock on the destination org now. We'll have a look at the stock on the destination org. I now go to the supply chain execution and then I go to the inventory management now. Go there, click on the item quantities. Click on manage item quantities. And then here it can be, is already 200 fine. Go there, click on it, M20. <clears throat> cool. What happens? There's only one item, I think, probably. And then go there, click on search now. If you see this now, you're not having a stock of 10. But when it transfer 100, it will not become 110 at all. And go there, click on it. It will not become 110 at all. Click on it. So during transfers, what happens? You know, see. 
between transfers. When you are transferring it from the source to destination, you are going to incur a lot of expenses like the freight charges, the packing and forwarding, the transit insurance, taxes, duties, tools, toll tax, and then mamul to police officer. <clears throat> so in EBIS, we can enter both the things as a two components actually. One as a freight and then one as a non-freight. We can on the freight area, whatever, whatever is the freight, you can avoid it. All other things we can even put as a non-freight. Remember, this entry is only manual. Actually. You cannot automate it. You cannot automate it. And then the vehicle has arrived, and then you can create a job order in a whip, and then the loading cost can be very well calculated. You can even create a job in whip, and then you can calculate how much of money you are spending for loading the vehicle actually. That can be calculated. And then when it is moving from the source to destination, fine, the transit expenses can very well be done. In EBS, we have a facility of what? Putting it as two different values now, whereas in Fusion, they have clubbed everything to one now. Fine, they feel that this is not a, two splits is not required now, fine, now there's only one now. So click on the edit details, and then I'm going to give the transfer expenses actually. And then here, transfer quantity is now. So we can very well give the transit expenses actually. <clears throat> Secondary OM, OM conversion. Uh, where is the expense here? Shipping cost. So this is coming as a shipping cost. Right? 12.5. So this way, what happens? Uh, you'll be able to uh, track the cost actually. So it is now known as a shipping cost, whereas in eBay, it is known as a freight and non-freight. That way you can do it. So this is known as C3 actually. And then here, what happens? We have a, a loading cost, and then you have unloading cost. And in uh, your interrog setups now, if you go there, we have a setup called FOB now, and that is not there. I don't know where they go and do it. It may be available somewhere now. If you go to the inventory responsibility, and then see, uh, we have uh, in this place one the FOB setups now. And go there. Yes, oh, yes, down, down. It will not take you to the shipping network now. It is a setup organization shipping network. Go there, take on it now. We have a FOB setup. Free on board, we call them. In the, whereas universally, it is known as a freight on board, actually. So we have a FOB. So we have the thing of receipt and shipment. Now, go click on it. Now, see everything will be coming. So FOB can be receipt or shipment. So what they say is, if you're making it as a receipt, fine. Uh, it is always FOB is only for the destination org. FOB is only for the destination org. And for the destination org, if you make it as a receipt, then whatever expenses are incurred up to what happens, the receipt gate point, what happens, uh, is all belongs to the source. After the receipt, Whatever you are sending it, fine. Here, C2 is the expenses now, fine. This will be getting posted over here. And then this is what else. If your POV is going to shipment, C1 and C2 will be born always with the respective R. Now we talk about C3 now. So if it's going to be shipment, so up to shipment, it is free for him now, beyond which everything he had to bear. Now. So FOB, the shipment is what? Up to the point of this vehicle area, what happens? Everything is free for the destination or beyond which he has to take care of. You know, so C1 will now, the first org will now take care of only C1. And then this destination org has to take care of C2 and C3. Fine. It will be automatically posted depending upon the FOB setup. FOB setup, it gets automatically posted. And then go there, click on it. And then if it is going to be a receipt, what happens? It will now behave like this now. If it's going to be a receipt, what happens? Up to this point, everything is free for him. Though C1 and C3, the source org will bear. And then C2 only, the destination org will bear. Or in other words, C1 is always born by the source. C2 is always born by the destination. Now, who is, who is going to bear C3? Whether the source org or destination org is decided by the FOB actually. But this FOB setup is not there at all in Fusion. I don't know why. So there must be, even if you set it up, the, the posting of this cost is automatic by the system actually. It will be posting automatically. So it may be there somewhere uh, in the Fusion. I don't know. So somebody find out where exactly we can set up the FOB now. It is not there in the interrog parameters. In the interrog parameters is not there. FOB is not there at all. So this is what is, and then I will now put the transit cost on this now. The transit cost is now put, and the shipment cost is now put. I will now give OK. <clears throat> so both of them put it to the cost. And then click on submit, by which whatever the transaction gets completed. So click on submit. We are now completing the transaction now. And, and the inventory area, it will now get a message that what happens, the, the transaction is now complete now. Oh, there's no coming. The transaction process, no issues now. Fine. Okay. Now I will now go to the manage, uh, what happens to your inventory area now. And then go to the manage quantities now. So again, make a search. The 10 will not become one ton at all. Click on it. The 10 will not become one. So it is an in-transit inventory. Actually. So in financials, they have a, a utility or reports which will tell you how much is there in transit. In transit, they can always mention whatever is left the source org, but it does not reach the destination. So in which case, what happens? The in-transit inventory will be hitting it. Actually, it will be hitting the inventory. inventory in transit. Inventory. But we can see in the supply demand form also, Nana sir. Here it is no, there is no such supply demand form. 
So you know, I'm uh, searching. I I need to learn few more. In, <laughs> <laughs> and if you need a good trainer, uh, please inform the group now. Karthik Karthik is uh, telling yesterday, right? He oh, will, he was uh, telling that he is trying. He will, he's arranging it, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm chasing uh, him, Subu. <laughs> I'll I'll let you know. I'll I'll circulate on the group, Nana. Okay, good. Good then, fine. So this is what us. So it has now left this place, and then it has not reached the destination. Now we are going to make a gate visit. Fine, we're going to get, make a gate visit. So for which again, mm -hmm. whatever security is required, we'll now go there and then try to make a gate visit. Nana, no, no. in this we have an option of material transaction. Right? There we can check everything that like material transaction. But, here also is there. Here also we have okay. the material transaction. Now. So if you go there, you will now see the material transaction will show you. You can see review completed transaction. So we can even see those transaction item is what M twenty underscore IOT and then your tab, and then we can even put the dates over here. And then click on search; it will not show you. But it will not show you the what's called the the consolidated inventory actually, or some date clashes there. Yeah, so, the material transaction is all specific. Only half yeah, half yeah, of the yeah. portion it will show. Again, yeah. another <laughs> another inventory you have to go. You have to exactly. half of the. Exactly. Get change the org and then do it. Find the click on the other change the org. Do not do until unless if you develop any report for global report. Mm, you can develop a report. So if you go for first org, I think I know see this one. So minus hundred and then minus ten is there. It will not give an on all or maybe if you choose this all or probably it will not show you all the transactions over there. And I try to choose all or because I don't know whether change or I can put it as all. No, and all is coming. I can click on OK now. But the all is not choosable actually. If it comes by default, it is okay. You go to the manager review completed transaction. The all or is coming. Yes, yeah, coming. Okay, fine. It's coming. It's over there. M twenty underscore I O T and then you tap. And then you now give a search. Now find. I know search it from fifth onwards. Now fifth to sixth. Click on search. Now it will not show you all. Organization is what? Ah, oh, it is asking the organization. There, even if you give all, what happens here? It is not accepting it actually. Ah, oh. here. Do you have any all here? Now find. Give a there. Click on search. I think this, this is a this is a bug in the system. Ah, otherwise, like if you have given a all. It even is also on the completed transaction. We it is only all. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Not, um, Correct. Not, it is not uh, all all spent, and it is not cannot be. So even if you give in the top, what about here? It is not accepted. It is not bug. Uh, it is a standard feature. That is what they say. We create your report. Metal, uh, you metal have, distribution uh, is also there. Ah. Uh, metal distribution. Where in that place? Ah. Uh? No, I am just asking. It is same as. Uh, yeah, metal distribution same. Fine. It is, a, it is a equal to this. Fine. Let's take on it. It is equal to that. The review completed transaction is what transactions metal transaction. Fine. The transaction metal transaction is equivalent to that review complete transaction. The same thing. Transaction summary is also we can see. Is also we can see. It is equivalent to that actually. <clears throat> Material distributions for uh, what happens here? Uh, here distribution is always uh, uh, done only in the costing area, not here. In the supply chain, we don't have any accounting distribution. Distributions are mainly accounting distributions, and then that is I cannot see on the uh, supply chain area at all. Only in the costing you can see it. There so is now, a flag none of that shows whether the transaction is costed or not that's pretty much what you can see on the inventory side is it so there is a flag i think once again the review yeah. completed transaction is a flag no yeah yeah right. okay, i have not ever let us not go on and how it now fine review completed transaction the cost test is there now fine correctly on it i will know how it says there is a flag now so m20 underscore cost test is already costed actually we will now go there and then i will know how what uh, 19 now Because it's not done long time back, and then click on search now. <clears throat> He's saying there is a costed flag is there. Now. There's a add. Can you add column, Nana? You go to the view columns, and then here, if you see whether it is costed or not, it keeps scrolling. You should be able to see. I remember seeing. Mm -hmm. Then it's good enough. Right? If it's a costed one, it will be excellent actually. So if you have any product project, okay, then there is one thing. So if you have a column of it is costed or not. And that means what? We are already pushing. Yeah, yeah. There, there, yeah, there is one. Yeah, cost it. Because I came on it now. Uh, and that is no interface to cost it. Fine. 
so it says whether it has been interfaced but whether you have done the distribution or not it doesn't so but at least what happens is you now saying that you now interface to cost matrix this transaction interface to cost good good observation now so you there you might have created the distribution or not it doesn't matter from supply chain plan, activity what happens you can even say whether it has been pushed into the costing area or not mm. the same as uh, like in ebus also we have Ebus, we can see yeah, the distribution also. Accounting distribution itself, we can see directly when you perform a transaction. Can very well see. No, 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 no. If any transactions, we can move. Uh, we are moved to the GL, right? There also we are able. But the GL move, fine. No, not the costing move. Fine. Here, costing and then uh, GL, everything is clubbed together in the costing area. Fine. That is the that is for the GL. Okay, fine. Doesn't matter. So and this issues. item supply, item supply demand, it is there as a task here itself. Uh, oh, here itself, huh? Yeah. Now see where the item supply demand. Uh, review item supply demand. The last part oh, one. Yeah. Review item supply demand. And then I will now put the item over here. Now find M twenty underscore I U T. And then give it that. Sorry. I cancel. It is uh, underscore. No. Give it that. So click on search. So we have an item supply demand. It's a house per speak. Again, I'm excluding. That's the day R one. Click on search now. It shows you minus ten and then available quantity only. <clears throat> Maybe it is now linked along with only planning actually. Fine. What is the quantity? What is the available quantity for transaction? Fine. That you can see in the can inventory. I, uh, can I go and see in two zero two? Yes, we are receiving our case two zero two, right? Mm. Go there, click on it now. Fine. Click on search. It shows you okay in transit shipment yeah. is not showing at least because those people are receiving their stock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you haven't yet received, received it, number. right? Like the document number is there. I mean, you're not yet received actually. That is why yeah. it is not hitting the in transit. Good, good. So item supply demand at least say for the org how many are going to income now? Fine. If the purchase orders there, it will also show the PO number also. I think probably. <clears throat> it does. Any purchase orders, intra transfers, fine transfer orders, all those things. I think probably it will not show. So it's not showing. It's a replica of the same form as like EBS has. Ah. Uh -huh. He is not saying on and for so and so direct uh, in organization to not take. So he is also showing one some more explanation also with the direct one. So through which whatever we are not send this. Okay. So in turn, good good. Fine. Review items of demand is also that will also be a good utility for you to whatever attract the transactions whatever is happening on the in transit can be seen for a particular org org wise you can see it now. We will now see whether all is working or not. Click on it. Click on search now. And go there. E L L. Click on search now. It works is great actually. It's not such a matter. No, no, no. Even in EBS, there is no all option in in ah, this form. Because even though in the top it is all org, it it's asking you to put the org over here. And it's not accepting. You will need a ACP workbench. Ah ha. So click on. So we have one item supply demand. Fine for that. I never seen it actually. So, the one. <coughs> Uh, and then there's not a now we we'll know uh, make a result to the gate now. Uh, uh, can we generate a delivery note for this as well? Delivery the, note means what? What do you mean by delivery note? As in the goods have been dispatched from the source org. Um, we need some form of shipping documents or delivery note something. IOT do not have any documentation. There. No, only okay. in a transfer order we will have the documentation. The okay. IRISO or otherwise the transfer orders will have the documentation, which you can even print it and then you can even dispatch it along with the carrier actually. Fine. Okay. Whatever is contained, fine. Like vehicle load sheet can be there, and then we can even uh, what happens? We can even say uh, the delivery details, fine. From where it is origination and what is the destination, all those things can be done only for a automatic move. This IOT is basically manual. In the manual move, we cannot do anything at all. So we go to the inventory management and then we go to receive in the destination or. So go to the inventory. Now here, drop it down. Go there. And until now, uh, we have seen what the inventory area only. Now we'll now go to the receipts area. And we'll go to the receipts area. Next is what receipts. We even see the picks also. For picks, we have to have a data security called what? Your uh, warehouse manager. And for the receiving, the receiving agent data security is required. And for that, click on it. I'll now go to the receive expected shipments, and then I'm going to add it now. And so click on change or your org will not come at all. M two zero two, and then give it a name. And click on okay. It will not come. So it's not there. Oh, it's coming. Go there. I have not given a receiving agent rule. I know I might have given it. I'm not sure about it. Fine. Receive expected shipments of this two not two. And it's not coming. Probably I might have. Added no, no. It is. It is supposed to be appearing in this uh, dashboard, right? Like in the dashboard, it's showing as in transit shipment. We have seen now. In the dashboard itself, you are seeing one second, second. No, see two not two. Yeah. You know, see inventory management picks and then cycle count overall. Fine. Go there. Click on it. 
open shipments, open shipments, shipments is only giving you fine. In transit is not showing at all. Receipt lines, the receipt lines are waiting. Yeah, awaiting receipts. There is one. Yeah, yeah. Receipt lines are waiting. Receipts is not saying one. The dashboard also. So here we are, you are able to see this also based on. But I don't know whether I have given the data security or not. I'll not see whether it works or not. I might have given it. Otherwise, what happens is we have to add the managed data access for the receiving agent also. No, no, you have given. I given. Yeah, okay, yeah. probably I might have given. I think wrong. So you need it now. Finally, now make a check because what happens uh, when you do it? If you are getting a problem, it will be a problem. Now, finally, click on it. Let us now make a check whether I have given it or not. Click on it. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not go to the manage data access for users. Click on search now. Manage data access for users. <clears throat> So here I will now switch to this place and then query my user now to the A01 and then EMP1 now find for the receiving agent. Receiving agent now. Okay. And then click on search now. I give it for M2 not M2 no, I not given now. <clears throat> I don't know how it's going to work now. Fine. Probably they made up bypassed it. Fine. They make a lot of changes on this now. And then uh, I will now see this now. Fine. Cancel now. <clears throat> So click on it and now see whether it receives or not without a, without a, without a secure data access. So I'll now go to the sub Is there any uh, uh, program okay, to check the in-transit, all the uh, uh, shipments which are in transit and which are expected oh. to receive? There is there there one in EBS. Very well, uh, take a report now, EBS. Uh, EB, in, uh, here you can customizely make a report now, fine, to have only the in-transit. In EBS, we have Oracle standard report, uh, in-transit oh. report, inventory yeah. in-transit report, but... Uh, I'm not sure about in cloud. Sure. Uh, many reports you only have to make. You undergo a training on BA, business intelligence. I also have two records on BA now. If you go on and have a there are two records are there. So you just watch those records, it may teach you. So here in this there should be some standard one as well. I'll mm -hmm. check it will be there. Uh, it may be there also. So I have got two records on this now. Where is it? Yeah. We have a transactional intelligence one now, and there are two records are there. It will not teach you a lot on this. OTV part one and part two, there are two records of that. That will teach you a lot on this. <clears throat> Try to go through this. It will teach you how to make reports. So you click on it. Now. I'll click on it. I'll go there. Go to the receive expected shipments. I have not given the data access. We'll not see whether it works or not. So that in transit number is 101 now. Fine. 10. If you give a tap, it has to come now. 10. 101 is coming. Fine. Go there. We'll make a search on it. I'm in the destination. Now. Fine. Click on search now. And then I will not try to make a transaction. Click on it and click on receive. So click on receive. I'm going to receive it now. <clears throat> I'm going to make a receipt now. Click on it. And then here I'm now going to the receiving area. And then I will not give a show quantity. It will not show you how much is now coming from this org. It will not show you. So we are now making a gate receipt actually. We are now making a gate receipt now. So how to hide that button? No, no, no. So yeah, we can hide it also. I will not show you. And later on I will not show you. How to hide this show receipt quantity? I'm not sure. When you are seeing the full results, you are going to see the full PO results will be having under there. I click on create result now. So here, since it is going to be what? It is going to be reserve the gate. We are not delivering in the sub -unit actually. So you cannot put any sub -unitary. So the reserve transaction is made in the gate. So this is known as a goods reserve note or otherwise in short, it is known as a GRN now. So a GRN number is getting created in the gate now. Fine. That will be referenced later on. Now. Fine. Whenever any medical clause is the gate, you will be referring only by the GRN number. Fine. GRN number. And then you're now going to create it on the No, you cannot provide it in this ability. You know, click on create receipt. Ready? We are creating Ready? it. This find expected uh, uh, receipt itself would be a report because maybe we can export it to Excel. You are asking about mm -hmm. a report. This itself we can export it here. So, so give the packing slip number, ship and method, and the number of units, payable number, bill of lading, etc. etc. And then click on submit. <clears throat> on the submit. Hey, but the, I think workload management perspective, there has to be from the business process perspective. Uh, there may be a standard report, report also, but I am not aware of it now. I will check myself. Thank you. Yeah. So click on EBS, the report itself is called as expected receipt report or something. So boom, might That's right. So no, we are given EBS, the... EBS, we have intransit report is there. We are using today okay. in our project. A lot of companies. That's an... Um, but from the business process perspective, that's kind of unrequired. Okay, otherwise, that's correct. They would not and every month, every month they will see how much uh, my stock, my how much cost is lying in my entrance. Yeah, and even for the month and month and close perspective, also like, and you need to close those transactions, right? Yeah, it is not necessary, right? 
why you need to close it is not required it is not required but it is because it's not necessary for example i am doing iris so i am shipping my material from texas to host uh, texas to new jersey it will take for Three days to ship. No, not to necessarily. Right. I to say, but like you know, it is no, no, advisable to close. So a month in closing, not necessarily. You need to close all the transaction. Right. Yeah. Even the receiving also, you don't need to do the receiving. So it is. It is advisable. I mean to say, okay, from the cost uh, reconciliation perspective, okay, it is like right. you know, there is something the, in transit. So the reason, see, okay, and it is no, what will happen, right? If you are not doing, if you are not doing, for example, today is thirty first. I am closing my inventory periods. If I am not doing any receiving, right. Let it be there in my staging area, and tomorrow if I close it, I'm opening my next month periods. So all whatever my receiving account, those, those will go into that part next day. That's it. Again, the receiving right, date will go as a transaction date in that uh, costing side. That's how today business is running. Not necessarily. It is necessary. advisable. You close all like, the you know, open not receiving. necessarily, but like you know, from the yeah. cost reconciliation perspective, okay, if something which is delivered to your uh, uh, premises or like um, to your site. Okay, then if it is something sitting, okay, and then like you know, it is advisable to make a receipt of it and then deliver it. Now, if it's coming in your premises, right, you will do the receiving. You have to do the right. Yeah. Okay. If now you open in transit. You don't need to do that. Okay. So now a GRN is now created called one thousand one now. They are now created. So you know they can take on okay now. So we can even see this GRN on this page. Can take on that now. <clears throat> we can even see the review completed transaction. I'm going to click on it. I will now go to the inventory and then I'll look at review completed transaction. So 1001 GRN is now made now, and there's no GRN column here. Now. I don't know. It's uh, go to the M20 underscore IOT in your time now, <clears throat> and then put the dates appropriately and then click on search now. It is now received in the gate now. Oh, it's not showing me. Why? The review completed transaction, we have performed a gate visit now, and it is not showing me. Source type. Go there. Is it in the gate or what? There is no such is it in the gate at all. And then transaction type can go there. We have only this now. Even the standard receipts are not there. But you already performed, right, Arana, sir? But in the review completed transaction, I have completed. GRN number 1001 is created now. Fine, go there, click on add field. Whether any receipt number is there or not. Click on it. So, but it is, um, it is not a material receipt yet, right? But it is not a gate. Mm, no, it is not, not a put away. Right? It shows only the put away one. Yeah, no, only only the put away is not showing you, and not the yes. thing which is not showing. Not the uh, receipt. No, put the yesterday's date. No, and make a search. No, click on search. No, oh, it is not showing. Okay, there is a date problem basically. There is a date date problem. Five and six. Okay, probably this instance time might not have gone change. No, I am not showing you. I would in transit. And then, oh God, it is the previous one. It is not a today's one. Actually. Yeah, the previous one. In the direct organization transfer, it is not showing you. Today's is not showing you. You didn't complete the put away transaction. Ah, so he is saying that what happens? The review completed transaction will not show you only the put away and not the gate zip section. Okay, man. how to see this now? Gate zips. We can very well see in e There should be something called as a view receiving transactions, right? The ah, view. In e bills, we have this now. We have, we can have, see either receipt as well as everything we can see now in this place. Oh, so the receipt routing was standard, was it? I didn't know. Doesn't okay. When in eBay, we can very well see this now. And if you go there, I will now switch to purchasing now. So we can now see everything out here <clears throat> in this place. If you we can there. check in the transaction here itself. Receiving, and then what happens? You go there. Receive transaction summary will not show you the gate receipts also. This will not show you the gate receipts also. But here it is not showing you. Maybe somewhere else, whether you can see this place now, it is awaiting put away. Fine. This way, in the main area, it is not showing you. In the main, uh, what happens with this thing on the dashboard it is not showing you that it is not awaiting a put away. Actually. So that way it is not showing. <clears throat> yeah. It is not showing no, explicitly. No. People no. who have got EBS legacy, we will never go into these info tiles. I think uh, info tiles we are not right. used to the info tiles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is very handy if we can if we know how to configure this based on you know how we used to create folders in. Uh, mm, it is also possible. It is very much it possible. Makes it so easy. Mm -hmm. You go through the technical records. It may even. Uh, Teach you about how to configure the info tiles. Actually. The technical mm -hmm. records have been given to you. And go through the. They will be teaching about how to configure the info tiles. <clears throat> so go there, and then now I am going to make a put away now. So I will not perform a put away. I will now again go to the uh, receipts area, and then perform a put away. Receipts area, and then I will now go to the put away receipts. Click on put away receipts, 
and then here i am not going to put, put it on the gr number fine 1001 is the gr number i'm going to click on it and then click on search it will not show you how much is you know, eligible for whatever select and then click on whatever you're going to put it on and then here it's not showing you automatically how much it's funding you can even make a change uh, how much you want to change now okay, click on submit by which whatever the inventory could be getting populated click on submit no, no. Put away means means it's a same is it like a delivery delivery. Is transaction. it known as a delivery transaction now? So here, when you perform a delivery transaction, it's fine. That is basically a put away now. And it is in line with the uh, uh, WMS actually. WMS will be calling it as a put away. So they have changed the nomenclature in uh, in inventory also. It is a put away. So here, if you see, but the standard the, industry terminology is put away only. Ah, uh, uh, standard industry terminology. The, you perform the receiving we'll transaction directly to. Sub it will be going into the sub directly. Yes. It will not go to the sub -inventory. So, because you are not putting the sub name also here. So, the sub name is available on the intra transfer form. And if the inventory in charge feels to make a change, he can very well change it and then perform a sub -inventory. So, you can even, the system suggested sub or the source organization suggested sub can be changed while you are going, performing a put away actually. So, click on OK. Now, it is not put away. The gate receipt means your delivery truck has come in and the item is either on the loading bay or on the staging area. Exactly. Put away means the forklift guy has, uh, you know, uh, got the pallet and the pallet is now being put away into the locator. Exactly. Uh, so, exactly. so that can be is analogous to the bank. So here in which scale we will do the inspection? The inspection will not complete a bit later. I will not show you the inspection. Uh, in the last, I will not show you the inspection. Inspection. Now, when you are going to make an intra transfers or when you are making uh, your transfer orders, what happens? Uh, you cannot inspect your own material. Inspection is not possible. Only for an external material we can inspect it. Our own material we cannot inspect. It. And our own material we cannot even send it back. We cannot return it also. Returns are not possible. Only for suppliers we can return it. So returns are not possible. So suppliers are only supply material we can return it. Our own material we have to make a reverse IOT and then send it back. We have to make a reverse IOT and send it back if you want to return. That way you can do it. So now you go there, click on it, you'll know how look at the item stock now. Go to the inventory and then have a look at the item stock. Now the stock will be increasing. Click on it. I'll put the item in the second dog. There's only one item I'm going to click on search now to show you. So this completes the IoT on an in-transit route. Now we go for the next topic called complex IoT. This happens in uh, uh, two of the customers now basically. Say, for example, an item will be having a lot of controls actually on the destination arc. On the source arc, we now what happens? Let us say I have to imprint uh, what happens a nameplate on the uh, let us say cabinet. The cabinet I am going to what happens to do it now. So the item will be serial controlled on the destination arc. Whereas in the source arc, where it is getting manufactured, it will be manufactured in lump and then it will not have any numbers at all. So before we receive the item on the destination arc, we have to put the serial number and then afterwards what happens is you affix the nameplate details along with the serial numbers actually. So this happens in many industries where items are mass produced where there will not be any control and then when you shift it to the destination or there you may have some controls enabled. So how to do this? And the source is not having any controls and then the destination is having controls. This is a, basically a complex IoT exercise actually. This happens in many industries where what happens where items are mass produced and then kept in the stock, and then you send it to some other org for what happens value addition, and then what happens you are improving the uh, things, and then we are now completing the activity for which what happens you may have to have a control. So when the source is having no control, and then the destination is having control, how to do it will not see this. Vice versa is possible. Vice versa is also possible. Where well, let us say I am not having the uh, let us say revision number. From there, what happens? I am not sending it to your warehouse. From there, what happens? I am going to send it to the customers actually. Fine. The warehouse people need not have to know the revision at all. So, in which case, what happens? The item may not have revision control at all. Fine. While manufacturing, you would like to have it. Now. So, likewise, there are some situations where the YC but does also have But how about the serial and lot? That's not a question. There are industries where what happens? There is a mismatch on the controls on the source and destination. Order. So, once when you have a mismatch, on the source and destination or we will now see what how to perform an interrupt transfer. We're going to see what how to do it. There are so many cases between uh, direct and in transit, there is a freight and other expenses are added, right? Direct there is no expense. Direct added. there is no expense at all. You cannot track the cost. Cost but of transfer. Then, uh, will there be any situation like where uh, where will the actually huh? 
will there be any situation without uh, expenses I mean, see if the company is incurring expenses and then the expenses has to be tracked then you have to go only for in transit so for a pawn dukan man if he is shifting the pawn from one place to other he wants to know how much of money he is spending on the auto right? whereas for a car manufacturing company if the uh, what happens if the fleet is asking for 1000 rupees for a transfer they are in lakhs and crores now right? they will not be bothered about monitoring this cost of transfers actually so they will not say you put it direct so we have to only discuss with the end customers and then decide whether the transfer route is either trans in direct or in transit actually it is it varies from company to company in saudi uh, they don't want to keep track of the cost at all fine right? the transfer cost is negligible for them because the, the petrol itself is very cheap and so they say that we don't want to track the cost but what happens the material arrival they wanted to record now fine right? just for what happens uh, making a gate entry they go for in transit majority of the companies will not go when i shift it from uh, what happens uh, from the east coast to west coast now right? from dama to jeddah it takes around 4 uh, days on the road actually so only when they receive it what happens the stock has to go up so that is why they don't go for a direct at all they go for in transit mainly for what recording the two transactions in the destination or the gate receipt as well as the put away now so for which they go for so many a company i think they will not go for in transit mainly for recording the arrival of the vehicle actually okay fine now go there and now go to the uh, e business documentation and then go right, so in the in transit uh, you said not full quantity you will receive right in the destination no, no, no. you will receive full quantity only let us say during the transit time if something has uh, fallen down on the vehicle now then you will not receive part but we cannot return it back remember you and uh, during why you find that something is damaged in the inspection area inspection we found that some some item is damaged we cannot return it back to the source we can only make a reverse iot and then send it is our own material our own materials we cannot return only supplier materials we can return uh, nana sir one question yeah. you said uh, the serial numbers like either of the organization is not uh, serial controlled so mm. can we still transfer it uh, there is one you are going to see this now right? now when there is a mismatch on the control service we will not have a look at it and how the hap it happens now. so there is one interog exercise on inventory inventory day 3 now right? we will not have a look at it now. and also the prerequisite for that is the item attribute has to be at the arc control of course naturally what happens all the uh, all the inventory arcs all the inventory attributes must be arc control and then for the order management it should be master control if at all the customer says you want to have a different control level you will not change it okay? you will be setting it up everything at the arc control before you start your uh, transactions please make a change make a, what happens uh, go there and then go to the uh, item attribute control and then shift everything to arc level Fine. When you get a uh, fresh instance, you see that inventory are all always at the arc control. So if you and if you can see that, what I mean, only certain things are basically not arc control. Now, when you go there, I will not show you. This But again, thing. that's not the recommended practice. You know, like, and uh, if an item is serial controlled in one organization, yeah, uh, you I mean the recommended practice is to have it. Uh, it may uh, happen. That's what I'm saying. Controlled across organization, that. but oh. it happened. Like even in my my current customer also has uh, uh, some items like that. Mm. No, we have. It is no, from Pradeep industry, industry now. Right? No, no, in, in they... my current project, we are not handling that way. For example, one or they are maintaining as a buy item, another or they are maintaining as a rebuild item. The rebuild item always is a serial control. That is why it is uh, depending upon the individual projects. Say, let's say I am now manufacturing the PC cabinets. Now. That is mass produced and then kept over here. Now I have to affix what happens. I have to engrave the serial numbers of the thing. So that is now done on another or. So that or will be having the serial number also. Serial control is enabled. Now. so when you transfer it from this or to other or what happens how to see it we are going to see it. so the mismatch happens from industry to industry based upon the practices so if you click on the org level if i click on it you know say what happens whatever is not in the org control it will not be getting grayed out right the inventory item the stock of the transactable the negative measurement error and positive measurement there are the five attributes which are controlled in master level and then if you click on the master it will not show you all the things and then whatever is not controlled in the master level it will not get grayed out so the best practice is what the best practice is the different thing right for customers to customers it may vary actually the best practice is have all the uh, attributes of the inventory at the org level and then uh, for the order management have everything at the master level fine for the order management you keep everything at the master level click on it if you go to the org level uh, or happens uh, you don't find or happens there is only finance allowed is enabled now right? and then the default ship and org this is all at, at the org level the rest are all master level so again okay, you need not have to follow the best practices it's only oracle recommended best practice but you may even deviate depending upon the end customers right when you have to deviate 
to go there. Click on it. Now, let us go there. Click on it now. Fine. We are now going to make what happens. First of all, the transit ship. No, fine. Go, click on it now. Now go there. Click on it. Now go to the setup and maintenance. And then we will now set up the transfer network as direct actually. Click on it. <clears throat> so click on search now. And then I will now say manage. Fine. Inter all parameters. So manage inter all parameters. Click on it. Now. And then I will not search for the source or find for the EM201. Click on search now. Let me make it as what direct now. Select and click on edit now. I'm going to make it as direct now. So I'm now making it as what direct. <clears throat> so click on OK now. So it's direct. So give us save and close now. Fine. Whenever you're having it, you have to give a save and close now. Right click on the duplicate now. So let us now go on and create an item as per this exercise now. Click on it. You can uh, read the exercise. I'm not going to go through fully in the document now. Oh, click on interrog exercise. I want to open it up. Interrog exercise on U business documentation inventory and inventory day three now. Click on it. So open it up now. I'm not going to read fully. Fine. I will not do it and show it. Fine. You can read it later on. No time open. You can read it. Now. So you go there. I will not make an item now. Fine. Oh, click on it. So I go to the sub. I go to the product management and then I will not get any product management. So click on it. Fine. Oh, click on it. And then I will not one of us create an item. I'm not going to get an <clears throat> So my org is M20, M200, and then two item class. Click on OK now. And then I will now make what? M20 controls mismatch. Controls mismatch. So you take a copy of it. I will now enable all the controls. SLR. If I go to the specifications, and then I'm going to enable all the controls. An item can be enabled for all the four controls also. I go to the inventory, and then let me enable all. So lot control is a full control now. I will now give mon underscore, and then because of the mandatory field, I'm now putting it now. So lot control is enabled. Then go down, and then serial control I'm enabling it now. I will now make a simple control as a dynamic entry. Dynamic entry and make it down. And then I will now make the revision control also on. Revision control is also yes. So normally we will not talk about the, the control for the locator actually at the item level. Item level locator controls are very rarely used. Fine. Let's say a tube light is there. The tube light has to be kept only on the lowermost rack of a, of a shelf actually. In that case, you will not enable it. Fine. You will not enable it as what? Either a priestess bit supplement. So only for certain items, you will now enable the locator control at the item level. Otherwise, Locator control are not normally enabled at item level. You will now have a look at only the sub level actually. So we are now enabled what? The revision control is yes now. Fine. Lot control is enabled and then serial control is also enabled. Okay. I'll now go on and associate the org. Click on associate. Let me associate to both the orgs now. 201 and 202, I'm going to associate. <clears throat> I'm going to associate to both the orgs now. So go to actions and then go to self command. So I will now say M20 and then enter it now. Let me associate to both arcs. Fine. Select it and then with the control, I'm selecting both the lines now. Fine. Click on apply and then click on done. It is now done. It is now associated. Fine. So it is now associated to both arcs. I will now give a save and close. So M20 control mismatch is the item of fine. Click on it. I will now give a save and close. Now what I do is I will now change on the source org. There is no control at all. I will now go to the browse items. Manage items will be having a mandatory field, and so I'm not going, I'm not habituated to using the browse items for this. Now, I will now say it starts with m20 underscore control <clears throat> and then give a search now. Fine, you'll now find item available in both places. Now, in the source arc, we are mass producing it now, so I will now have no controls at all. In the 201, whatever I'm not going to go there, I will now edit it and then I will now remove all the controls. Now, I'm going to the org level parameters. Now, find that is now R. I go to the specifications and let me remove it. Now. Click on it. Let me remove it. I go to the inventory. They must be OCAs actually. Then only you can remove it now. Fine. OCAs can only be changed. If it is the MCA, we cannot change it all. Remember, I will not make it as a no now. Revision control is a no. And then I will not go there. I will not make the lot control as a no control now. No control. Fine. I am now making a change after assignment. Remember, after assignment, if you want to make a change, what happens? Because that no problem. And remember, if transactions are made, you cannot also change the control levels. If you have on hand quantity, we cannot change the control levels. Remember, that is another thing. So in the or the source or we don't have anything. Fine. No serial control and then no lot control <coughs> and then no revision control. Actually. Nothing is there. Fine. It happens in many industries. 
where you are mass producing it in which what happens we won't produce any serial numbers or anything like that and dump it like what happens the immersion eaters immersion eaters are mass produced and then kept in the fg and then before you issue it what happens we will now put a serial number and then dispatch it to the uh, distributors fine so that way they will because from the time you give a serial number uh, it will be warranted for 6 months fine the electronic goods are really very sensitive and so what happens some of them will be having a warranty associated with the serial numbers and then you generate the serial numbers only during this at the time onwards what happens the company will now warrant it so you don't have any serial numbers while you are manufacturing it and then while you are issuing it out what happens you have to affix the serial number and then issue for that to not not give a safe and close my control mismatch is now having no controls on the source org it has got all the controls in the destination org now we have already set up what your trans numbers is a direct now i go that to not let us not perform an intra transfer we cannot do it now so if there is a control mismatch what happens it will not throw an error no i have to now go to the what's called i will not go to this place <clears throat> and then here i have now go to the supply chain execution and i am going to the inventory management here you cannot perform what you have to say click on it but now go to the intra transfer it will not allow at all <clears throat> go there so destination org if you choose it will not come and click on search now and go there click on it so you are now i have now changed the organization to one not m one not m two not one two not one the one i am changing it now So I am working on the two not one. Fine, go that take on it. I will now go to the manage create intro transfers now. But two not one. So two not one to two not two. We already have it now. Fine, go that take on it. I will now populate now. Fine, go that take on it. And then the direct organization transfers. And then here, if you try to populate my item, item will not appear on the transaction line at all because there is a mismatch now. Fine, M twenty underscore control C O N T and then we are done. So item will not come at all because since there is a mismatch on the controls. the direct organization transfer is not allowed because direct organization is going to directly populate the sub inventory and then that needs all the control levels and so what happens it is not doing it now and click on search now so let us now change the this thing now and click on it let us now change the uh, the shipment network now click on it now so whenever you have a what happens a mismatch on the controls we only have to have what as a in transit as a thing now manage inter So go to this place. Intro <coughs> parameters. I know. Go read and then make a change. M two not two one one. I know. Click on it. Click on search. So click on it now. <coughs> so here, what happens? I know. Make it as in transit. So we, if you have a mismatch, under two, there is a specific condition now. And then only what happens? You have to have in transit. So when you have the mismatch, not always. Now I know. I know. Come to the right here. Go click on it. I will now make it as a standard and then go. Now we can very well transact. Not done. Fine. Give a save and close now. Not done. You go to this place and then here, if you go and then you put the item. Now item will come. Uh, is a control now. Go NT and then go tap. Item will appear. <clears throat> so go there. Click on search now. <clears throat> Maybe the screen is already locked and so what happens? Not coming. So we have to cancel and then I get to it. So see the type is also wrong. We have to cancel now. We will again create an interact as well. We cancel now. So go this place <clears throat> and then create inter-organization transfers. Yeah, transfer here. Go there and drop it down. The destination org is coming. The type is in-transit will be coming. My shipment number is one not two. And go there. If you come out of it, the plus will be coming. Click on it. If you come out of the field, it will be coming. And go there. Is a M twenty underscore control. Then give it an item number here. So only on in-transit order was it now there. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Along with the source organization here now. Sub one now. I'm going to on it, and then I'll now put a hundred quantity. <clears throat> now remember, item is not having any control, and then it is not trying to move now. It will not. We can very well move now. I'm going to click on it. So this item can be very well moved. I'll click on submit now. We can very well move out of this now. I'm click on it. So we'll now have this now. <clears throat> so your transactions process is no issues actually. One not two is the one. Now we will not try to receive in the gate and the destination now. And I go to the inventory, and then here go there. We'll not try to receive it now. One not two we are going to receive it now. I'm going to click on it, and then go to the receipts now. So go there. Click on it. And then what about the now? What about the create, receive expected shipments now? I click on the receive expected shipments. The interest number is what one not two one zero and then give it app. It has to come. Now. So shipment number is in transit shipment number is one zero. And then click on search now. Why it's not coming? No, no, organization. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so you have to change the organization to two not two m two m two not two now. Go there. So click on change the organization to m two not two. Go there. Click on it. So M two zero two and you have to <clears throat> so you know that I go there click on it <clears throat> and then receive expected shipments and then this one not two one zero and then give it a bit as to come now I go there click on it one not two is appearing 
Now, we can very well receive on the gate now because gate will not check whether the material is having any control or not. Whereas inside, you have controls now. Fact, click on search, it will allow you to make it. Gate is only a paper document. On the paper document, they are performing the transaction actually. So click on show receipt quantity, it will not show everything. We can very well do it now. Frank, click on create receipt, you can very well do it now. So click on submit. So, okay, fine. No, that, no, no. 1002 GRN is not there. But if you want to put away, we cannot put away. Fine. It will not throw all the Before put away, all the numbers have to be populated. No, that, click on, I will not give a put away for this now. Fine. For 1002 now. Zip number. This time, what happens? You will not get error. It will not, it'll not allow you. No, that, click on it. It will not be a perform or put away now. You are going to perform or put away. So here, I will know that I will not populate the sub inventory and then I try to pop populate to find where FG is the one. And if I try to submit it, it will not allow because item has to have a serial number, lot control, lot number, and revision number. Revision number it will now pick up from the org parameter automatically. But uh, the serial and lot has to be done. Click on submit now, it will not allow at all. It will now say you must enter the revision number for the item. It will now pick up from the org level. You must enter a value serial number and lot number also. It will not giving you there or not. So click on OK and then here go to actions and then select the line first of all and then go to actions and then here record lot and serial numbers. So we'll now record the lot and serial numbers before performing a put away now. So go there, click on it. So we have to record. <clears throat> Sometimes in supplier supplies an item which is a lot and serial control, we have to record it actually. What happened? It is not coming fine, but I click on edit now. I will give edit now. So sub inventory locator is not having this now. Come on, what happened? We are unable to do this now. I don't know. We don't give a cancel and then requery now. Select and then click on put away now. Here I have selected the line now. The line is selected. And then I go to actions and then I will now record lot and serial numbers. I will now uh, I'll generate lot and serial numbers. Maybe record uh, because we may have to generate the thing probably. You know, see. Serial numbers could not be generated. Check the serial number setups actually. Oh God. Serial number setup is saying what? Uh, uh, maybe at the item level or org level, maybe it's not allowing me, or I don't know what exactly. The there is some problem on the serial setup. So, I'm going to click on it. Can you please click the edit, edit icon? Edit icon edit is not having any serial numbers at all. Recording serial numbers is not there. No? Uh, Elevate yeah. location is there. And then uh, if you put a location also, sub inventory is there, locator is there. Fine, there is no serial lot in this place. So, so some some mistakes on my org setups now fine but good actions and then here what happens you go there record lot and serial numbers generate a single lot will not see whether it's not generating a single lot or not it must have generated now but it's not showing me anywhere now. click on the view details and then see now you go to the view details and then here you cannot see the lot number is generated now and then we will not try to put the serial number also fine but the view details i think probably it will be coming now fine, click on it i will not from serial number i will not say one not to one to give a tab now so 200 is not coming. Fine, here it is coming. The, it is not, the action is not working. In the view details, you are able to give it now. Fine, but I click on it. So click on OK now. <clears throat> so click on Submit now, fine. Now the transaction will now pass through. You must enter the revision number for the item. Oh God. Revision, it has to pick up automatically. Fine, click on the view details and then we will not give the revision number. We will not put it in. I click on the drop down. I will not put the revision number as here. Fine, I know that. Sub inventory is not there. Fine, I will not put the sub inventory. FGS. Okay, fine. Uh, lot number is there, serial number is there, sub inventory revision, everything is there. So click on OK now. Fine. View details you follow. Why? I don't know why this is not working now. Fine. These two things are not working. I click on submit now. So once when you submit, what happens? You can now see the put away transaction was created actually. So the thing is, if the destination org has got any of the controls on, we have to put those controls over here via view details. The serial number, lot number, revision number, all these things we have to put. If let's say the source we have a serial number. The destination is not having a serial number, no problem at all. Because the serial number will vanish. The source is having a serial number. Destination is not having any serial number. Where what happens, you know, keeping it in a what happens, a warehouse or a distribution center, and then you are shipping it out. So you're not bothered about the serial number or something like that. In that case, what happens? You don't have it. So source may be having it. If the destination is not having it, no need to put anything at all. Fine. Even the direct organization transfers also will work. If what happens, if the if the if the controls are not on in the destination. Then even direct organization transfers will work. But if the destination organization has controls and then the source is not having controls, direct organization transfers will not work. Only an in-transit way we have to do it now. Got it now, fine. Well, click on submit now. So I have not submitted anything probably. No, no, is it mandatory for serial number recording a serial number and lot number to do this put away? 
because item is having a serial number on the destination so it's mandatory if the destination do not have a serial control no need to put this at all you go through this document it will not explain a lot now in this place you go down page down you read this thing up and over uh you need to spell all this yeah, generally put away transaction we will have in wms right oh, it depends if you are not having a license at wms you have to only work with the inventory license now if you are not having the lock fire license then what to do mm-hmm. so this is the same put away transaction what we do in wms yeah in wms of course the same put away transaction what do you do in wms okay you have a wms then you can do a lot on but if you don't have a wms license then inventory mm-hmm. and do a put away now. so read so, this Nana, document nana one question like the serial control right uh, both are serial co- both orgs have serial control uh, then no problem but then, no 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 but, yeah yeah but my question is like but in a diff- we have set up different way like you no know, one one place we have put uh, uh, manual or something or the the destination organization we are putting as a pre regenerated something like that so mm-hmm. how that will work you only have to do an r and d on this one, right i have not shown you the path now have the different <laughs> yeah. ways and then make an r and d and then see how it's behaving <laughs> the yeah, main concept like is what that, yeah. if it is on in the destination it must be on the source for direct if it is not on then you have to go by intrans that is the main concept and then you yeah that is the some the situation uh, when get for example uh, my source org is uh, address it i have created serial number my destination is a sales order issue right when you move the material from source to destination mm. it's not the same it's like not asked yeah <laughs> it will not ask you because the sales are the issue right only at the so sales order is a very yeah. good example ah, yeah 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 right right <laughs> depends on situation it will work yeah yeah so but different cover all the scenarios <laughs> <laughs> no but if it is like a pre generated right some that also uh, like yeah, pre generated uh, means you have to generate and then keep it ready yeah. and those numbers can only be put those things also right will. right but i mean serial number will never never accept then that case free 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 generated yeah yeah that's what i mean yeah it, <laughs> it will not accept <laughs> so, so there are three scenarios of that so you only have to experiment those scenarios actually the main concept right, is what if you want to go for a direct uh, organization transfers then the control levels has to be same otherwise at least whatever is on on the destination must be on on the source then only what happens the direct organization transfers will work if anything is mismatching So then what happens uh, you may have to go for in transit so this is one of the reasons for going for in transit as far as shipment network is concerned so nara is this complex iot applicable in uh, ebiz also yeah yeah the same concept it is a industry concept not a ebiz or a fusion concept no. it is a industry mm-hmm. a business practices basically is there in every year not only e oracle is there in uh, sap and then jd advisor Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Anna, what is the fusion equivalent for farm personalization? At least the simple ones like defaulting, making mandatory, and all of that. <laughs> uh, there is uh, there is one thing I will now. There is a page composer is there now. Fine. You have a page okay. composer now. I will uh, tell you teach you about it on uh, Monday now. Fine. How to do okay. it? Is a lot of things are there. I will not okay. uh, show you a page. No, no, you can just show us the basic. Yeah, then yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll pick yeah it up. then afterwards you can go further. You watch the technical records. It will not teach you everything. Now, right? Page composer okay. is basically equivalent to form specialization of uh, EBS. With I will not show you on Monday morning. I will not show you. All right. Thanks, man. Any other doubts? <clears throat> we'll have the next class on Monday. and then in the meantime when i am getting any nana sir instances i will not populate you will not send it to you tell me nana sir which instance we need to use because now, only ebtr is working now and everything else is down now so you keep checking something okay. even come there are eight instances which are there in my uh, drive now fine if any of them works it's okay otherwise what happens uh, you try to practice on ebtr give it a couple of hours uh, maybe uh, some, <laughs> it may even come up now so as and when i get a information from my students i will be uh, com- communicating it to you uh, all of these instances are very temperamental they they have a mind and heart of their own okay nana thank you bye 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 for now no question i'm not stopping the recording now <laughs>